Hey guys, you're watching this one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. My hand is Steve. Does that mean I'm Steve? Oh my god. <laughs> what? What is going on? I thought I could see a little bit of my hand missing down the bottom. <sighs> okay, anyway, today we're back at the water treatment plant because I'd like to finish it off. We're so close to having it finished now. I've got a building to do here, uh, fix up the entrance in there. I'd like to add some trees on this part here. Instead of having the uh, terrain just mold down to the road, I'd like to put a little wall in there. I think that would be cool, just like a little feature wall. that would probably end up with graffiti on it or something like that. Um, but yeah, just to finish this off would be really, really nice. Get some car parking spots down in here and just finish it off. So... We've got our color scheme. We've got like a blue ring. We've got some cyan and some light color blue. In fact, let's grab all three of those. And with these blocks, we're going to just do one more building over here. In fact, I might put a little blue ring on this building because it looks so boring and flat, doesn't it? It's meant to, though. It's a water treatment plant. But let's wand and let's go 35.3. Let's from there all the way around to here. Because there's not, you don't have any windows on here. We need a door on there, though. Uh replace 44 with 353 48 i i knew i knew that there we go i i knew that i knew that uh so let's put i don't know let's put a door in this side i think i might just go with just like a i don't have any doors big enough i hate that we don't have any two by three doors we'll put a door on this side as well or could we could go with um hang on Stairs. We can go with quartz. And then... Hmm. See, none of the doors work really well, do they? None of them look perfect for us. Factory door. I mean, they've got a really weird opening. <laughs> you know, that might work. That might work. We'll go with that. And then... Yeah. Perfect. Okay, that'll be fine. So let's go around to this side of the building. And try and lift this up a little bit. Maybe we can cheat our way. Cheese our way through it. And we'll go there to there. Copy. And paste. I don't know how, how high we want to go with this. Um, I think I probably want it a little bit taller than the building over there. So we're going to keep going up for like another three blocks or so. Because I want it to be a little bit taller, you see. And then from that one. No, I'm going to go down one. I'm going to go from that one over to here. And we'll put a little blue ring on it. Beautiful. I think on the... Second one from the bottom will make cyan clay, so we get a bit of a darker ring as well. Uh, 48 with 159.9. So there's a little darker ring on there as well. Uh, and then the roof can go on here. Another thing that we need to remember to do is, uh, someone was saying in the comments section uh, at the Space Centre, you know the road that leads to the Space Centre, that, that straight road that goes along the coast? It doesn't have any walls for stopping the cars to fall off. Now, originally, I sort of wanted that. Because there's a, a beach near me. I went, actually, on the first the first day of this year, I went there. Um, and uh, at the beach, they have a, Wells is the beach, if you're interested. There's a car park um, on the sort of seafront, if you like. Uh, and there's a little boat pub, right? And the boat's obviously in the water. But there's no wall to stop your car. It's literally a car park. Like, the ocean's there. And you're way up in the in the sky. So you're, like, driving up here. And the ground's up here, right? Like, we're standing on the... Whoops. Yeah, that's how easy it is. You're standing up here, right? And there's no barrier to stop you from driving off the edge. But that's a car parking spot. Like, you drive into the car parking spot. And you just have to stop before you fall into the ocean. It's so dangerous. I've never seen a car go in there, but I've never parked there myself, myself because I it would scare scare me forever if I if I parked there. I would be worried if my handbrake was going to just randomly turn itself off 
or, or something. I, I hate every minute of it there. So I always park at the car park that's a little bit further away. So then you have to walk, which like sucks a little bit. But uh, I have no risk of my car falling into the ocean. Uh, why they thought that would be a great idea, I don't know. And it, there's even car park in spots on like the other side. So you're not quite as close to the water. But if you reverse to get out of your car parking spot, you have a chance of reversing into the ocean. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's just a silly idea. I can't see why they would ever think that that would be a smart idea for a car park. We know what drivers are like on the road. We know that nobody can drive great. <laughs> well, I seem to run into all the people that can't drive at least. So it's going to be a nice simple roof. We're going with uh, a nice sort of gabled roof on some parts uh, and, and some normal roofs on, on some other parts here. Nice sort of tall peak on this one. And then everything joins up. It's a simple roof. We don't need to talk too much about this. That comes down there. Let's put these upside down ones in. Otherwise, I will forget. Like that. Now, does it look too thin when we go to the slabs there? A little bit. I'm going to put slabs along the bottom there as well. And then it looks like it's the same sort of depth all around. I left it with a flat part on the top there. Because if we'd done a peak all the way to the top... Uh, it would end up being way too high. So I tried to sort of match it to this block here. And I think it's going to be pretty close. Um, but yeah, if we if we went all the way up to a single point, it would just be way too high. And it wouldn't look that good. So I have these running to there. There's no easy way to do it. In fact, I might be able to cheese it a little bit. If we go from that one to that one. I can cheese it a little bit and help myself out. It just it just cheats a little bit. <laughs> that one. To that one. And then we'll just have like a few little box put in. Copy. Oop no. Copy. Paste. 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 Yeah, look. Hey. Just speeds it up a little bit. Mm hmm And that one. And that one. Let's cheese over here as well. Copy. Paste. Whoops. Too high. Paste. Too low. Paste. So many layers. You don't realise how big these roofs are. And. Oh, get the right spot. Copy. Paste. 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 Sweet as. Oh, we took the uh, corner one as well. Didn't want to do that. That one. Interior corners are so much more awkward than exterior corners. You have to curve your player in so awkwardly. And there. Now I'm hoping that the flat part will be able to do a little tiny recessed roof. Uh, like a flat roof, but it's just a little bit lower. Just a nice little thin one. Okay. Slab runs down here. And then uh, maybe it's not worth it. Maybe we just do slabs. Yeah, it's not it's not big enough. I was thinking about having like a little part that goes down by half a slab or so. Or by a slab, half a block. Uh, but there just isn't enough room. So I'll just put these on instead. Just a finishing off episode this one. We're not building anything new as such. We're just sort of finishing off areas before I forget about them. Because uh, it always sucks if you if you, if you you leave them and, and never come back. So then we'll get a nice door in here. That's such a cool door sound. And then a door down here. Like, if your doors sounded like that when you opened them in real life, wouldn't that just be the greatest? <laughs> One more there. Okay. Beautiful. Boom. And boom. The entrance is the next part. We need to take this away. This grass. And we need to take away these iron bars. Because there's no point. They can hide underneath the world there. That doesn't matter. Not going to 
affect me. So we can now get into the place. And make this stone. Set stone. Try and drop that to finish that off. Maybe do just something a little bit like that. Just so it comes in there a little bit. Uh, on this side. Like that. Maybe that one as well. Uh, that one. There we go. Uh, I don't want to put a gate on it or anything like that. There's no point. It would be really awkward to build anyway. But let's get the straight blocks here. Now we can have some car parking spots all around the place, I think. I think I want to have some on, on that part and that part for sure. I don't think I can really fit them in down there. Did I pick the right one? Nope, never do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Leave three blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can come down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can't drive off the edge there. We've got a fence there. Two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. And I can't really go any further because it's going to make it... Well, no, you could probably get a car park in there, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Too close. Whoops. Six. Yeah, there's enough room for there for a car to get down. Try and squeeze as many as we can. It's a big facility, so we want to try and have enough cars to be able to park down here. Uh, yellow. I'm, I'm trying to do these uh, yellow sort of hatchings as no drive zones. So these sort of say, look, you can't go through there with a ve or without an authorised vehicle. If you like, that's the car parking spots there, but you can't go through with, with any vehicle. Yeah, I think that looks pretty smart. I don't think we really... Oh, yeah, I forgot about this road. <gasps> I forgot about that. I need to hook that up to there. So, like, lorries and stuff can get underneath. Oh, it looks so cool as well. Um, okay, this just got a little bit more trickier. Let's get a tool. Brush air four. Brush sphere air four. Okay, it's going to be a little bit of a bodge job here. Because I'm not in the mood for <laughs> making things pristine. Like, we'll just eyeball it. Okay, so I need to start from this side and carve that away. It'll be okay. It'll look really weird at first, but this this will tidy up really quick. Yeah, that should, that should be good. Yeah, you. Th th it looks like I've wrecked the world right now, but uh, believe me, it'll neaten up so fast you won't even believe. Because fortunately, I've done enough bodge jobs before. Uh, undo two. Okay. Like that. Get rid of that one. Uh one get a little bit scared now that's a lot of ground that i just removed from there all the way over to there replace air with stone okay oh there's a few blocks we missed uh I think I can leave that one there. We'll use that as a sort of guide, I think. It'll be good. I'll, I'll now be able to get car parking spots down this part as well, which will be really nice. All right. Uh, and then we need... Oh, it's going to be really tight there, isn't it? I might have to curve... The, I might have to leave the car parking spots there and curve that road in. I think that would... It's probably going to be the best for us okay uh i'm gonna need that one that one i might need that one and that one that one and that one so we're gonna start off with the internal line let's just carve it out by hand first 
and then we'll go with a little bit of a turn three two one two three and then here yeah and then we should be able to place these ones in now uh that one is like an odd one i gotta just put any either one there would be fine We're not, you won't know the difference once we get them all down. Okay. And then the exterior. And we need one, two, three. One, one, two, three between. So we'll just carve this one down here first. And then we'll mark out one, two, three, middle one. One, two, three, that one. Okay. And then what we need to try and do is keep the same width all the way through. In fact, it might be easier to do the center line first so we want that one in and that one in and try and make that curve look right is it th three blocks three blocks okay one two three one two whoops three two three one two three one two three of course it would be it would be one block out and i got rid of the stupid ah that one okay um and then how are we going to curve this one two three i'm going to go to diagonal one not there one two three that would be about there one two oh it's such an awkward turn <laughs> um we might have to go with straight ones one two three and do that and then do that. I hate corners. Corners are just the worst. That one, that one. Yeah, it works. That's fine. It looks it looks about right, doesn't it? Okay. And then this little chap can go back in here. Oh, I'm so glad I forgot about this road. If I thought of that, I would have planned it out a little bit better. I want one. I think we'll be okay, though. So now we've just got the outside double yellow. If we didn't do the double yellow lines, this would make it so much easier. It'd be ridiculous. So I'm going to go one block further than the three so that goes to there and then looks a little bit thin there actually one two one two three still looks a little bit thin there still looks a little bit thin there that's better one two three one two so how far did that go in the end it went up to the two okay oh that's that's where it was yeah two three one two one 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 perfect that'll do nice that'll do perfect there's actually a really nice curve in there it looks correct on the map it looks perfect on the map look at that yeah okay i'm happy with that then so then we go back to these ones. One, two, three. 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 In fact, why does the road, does the road need? It would be better, wouldn't it? I think it doesn't need the road markings all the way to there. But it would be cool. Okay, let's let's do the. Oops. Let's do the center line, and then that'll be our guide. So we'll just curve off diagonally slowly. So we will go one, two, three, and then over by one. And then one, two, three, and then over by one. Oops. One, two, three. One, two, three. Over by one. Two, three. It would be right, but I need to start further back. We'll start at this side. One, two, th three. Two, three. Yeah, I should have started from this side. Two, 
one, two, three. Okay. Um, the white lines are slight are, are slightly off, but it doesn't matter. Uh, that should. I like, probably just do a small one or something in there. Like that. Okay. And then these double yellow lines now will just be able to follow the same uh, the same line and it'll join up to that road really nicely. Yeah, it's fine. I know it's got a little bit of a weird it's a little bit of a weird bit going on there, but it doesn't matter. Fill those in. One, two, three. How do I want to do this? Because I can't go three every time. I need to go like every three, four. One, two, three, four, five. It needs to be like every six in a second. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three. Yeah, perfect. runs down that side and then this one has to run down the other side so I need to remove some of this it looks so good it's hard to do like curves and stuff so uh, getting away with what we have I think I think we've done a pretty good job now I should just be able to follow the same as the other side no, it looks a little thin, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, that's better. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Uh, I want to leave a little bit of a gap. I might just leave that all open there because that's a turn, uh, turn left, isn't it? Wrong one. So there's a little arrow that then points to the left as well. Okay, awesome. So this part now, <laughs> this is going to be the fun one. Uh, let's get ourselves a iron tool here. Brush. Sphere grass three and we'll just start off by putting a little bit of ground back and try and give it the right color first and then we'll go around and we'll smooth it all back in definitely not the easiest way to do it but it's the way we're going to do it brush smooth Four. I'm not going to go too big because we want to try not to. Yeah, we knew it would affect. I know it would affect. Oop, not that. I know it would affect the ground a little bit, but I don't want to really pull up more than what we need to. I can hand place the parts down that go a little bit wonky. Uh, I can fix that. We can fix that by hand now. Okay. Um, I want to make anything that's stone and above the ground level into dirt. So we can do that with a command. Let's just fill in these little dodgy holes. You always get these these holes ended up because we're, we're, we're trying to stretch so much ground. It was getting a little bit too much for the world editor to be able to handle okay there's all the holes done and now we should be able to because we've got no stone at this height we should be able to select just above the ground and then over to this part here pause to replace stone with grass Et voila. We'll have some dirt bits left over that they'll change themselves. I can now see a few holes a little bit easier as well. That will, yeah, that will spread to grass eventually. 
uh, what was that? This part here as well, I saw. Yeah, you know what? I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's our road complete. That's such cool having like a little curve in there. How it just sort of wraps around. So now we can get like, oops, lorries and stuff. There we go. We're fixed. Uh, that's our water treatment plant now completed. We don't need to come back here anymore and add any more onto it. Uh, all the water's running. We've got the technology behind it all working. We've got the roads and some car parking spaces. We've got some uh, other road markings for warning. I think that's going to be cool. I could go ahead and add trees on here now as well because we're never going to put houses on here. There isn't enough room for houses. Um, I don't have enough time to do the wall today either. We could come back and do that at another point. But maybe some trees and stuff would hide that up anyway. But yeah, there's some trees on there. You're never going to get any buildings on there. There just isn't enough room. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you're not, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.